I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions on functions. A function is a relation in which each element of an independent variable corresponds with only one value of the dependent variable. That is how we understand functions. Well, functions are all relations and these are special relations in which each independent variable corresponds to only one value of the dependent variable. So that is what we have learned so far about the functions. Now, a very simple and straightforward question is that I will graph some relations. You need to figure out whether they are functions or not. And if possible, you can give me reasons also, right? So that is what we are going to do. So let me just uh, draw some relations, right? And you need to figure out whether these relations represent a function or not. Very simple, right? So, so that is the question. So let's sketch the relations. So let me say, let me use this thing for some. So let's say one, we have a relation kind of like this. Okay. One, we have a relation kind of like this. Fine. One, we have a relation which is kind of like this. That's good. One, we could have a relation which is, which is kind of like this. One, we could have a relation which is kind of like this. Out of these, which are functions, which are not functions, you have to figure out, right? So this is when we are given the graph. Now, uh, we could be given some equations also. So let me write down a few equations. Let me number them also. Let's say A, B, C, D, and E. Now, which one of these are functions? This one, this one, this one, what do you think? So list functions. Okay. Now, how to find which ones are function? So we'll perform vertical line test. If they pass, they are functions. Okay, so let me draw vertical lines. So if I draw a vertical line, it goes to only one point here. It goes to two points, it fails. This pass, pass, this is pass. So all our functions except for this one. So what we get here is, uh, this is a function, right? F for functions, this is a function, this is a function, this is a function, and this is not a function because it fails vertical line test. Okay, now let me sketch some more. So this one is kind of like this. Now I'll trick you in this, okay. okay let me sketch some more, okay. Now, now we have a, a something like this. Let me use another ink. So if I have set of points, let's say all these set of points, and then this set of points, and then we have a point which is kind of like this. Okay. Now tell me which ones are functions, which ones are not functions. Now here if I draw a vertical line, it fails. So this is, this is not a function. So this is not a function. How a vertical line passes. And here we are saying not a function. Can you tell me why? Well, the vertical line, which is this one itself, we have two points on this line, so this is not a function. Got it? Okay, sometimes you may have holes. So let me sketch a few functions which are kind of like this. So we could have a function which is uh, kind of like this, uh, filled up hole and then like this, and not filled up hole and like this. Is this a function? Now, if I draw a vertical line here, it only goes through one point, and therefore, this one is a function, right? This one is a function. Perfect. This one is a function. Okay. Now, from the graph, it is kind of simpler to figure out whether it's a function or not. But if I give you an equation, can you tell me? Let me give you a few equations. First equation is x squared plus 1 equals to y, and then we have x squared uh, plus uh, plus a square is a constant is equals to y and then we have x square plus y square equals to a square. Now out of these, which one is a function, which one is not a function? Well, if you find y square term, 
then it means it is not a function. So that is kind of simple to figure out and all these are functions. So if you are given an equation, then in the equation look for y square or even degrees of y, then it is not a function. Do you see that? On the other hand, even if we have q, for example, if I have q root, let's say x square uh, plus 1 equals to y cube, then, then what happens? Well, q root is a function, so this will be a function. But positive or negative, but even powers of y will yield to not functions. So these are a few key things which you should remember to figure out which of those given equations or graphs are functions. You can use vertical line test to check the functions when the graph is given and when the equation you should isolate y. If you are getting unique value it's okay and if y is with the square whenever you isolate what happens. Let me show you. If I isolate I get y square equals to a square minus x square and what is y equals to? It will be plus minus square root of a square minus x square. Do you see that? And this plus minus gives me two values. And therefore, it is not a function. Do you see that? So that is how we can figure out whether the given equation or the graph is a function or not. Now as an exercise, what you can do is write domain and range of above functions, only functions, okay? okay? Discard the relations which are not functions in this particular case. That could be a question for you just to practice. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you like it. Thank you and all the best.